Hello, a few months ago, my wife and I put out a video about us going into the mission field. Since that time, some of you have asked, how did you get the call? How did you feel led to go to Africa? And so I'd like to take a few minutes to share with you how my wife and I felt the call to go into missions. Uh, back in the fall of 2015, we were helping a church plant and there was five other leaders plus myself and we'd get together every so often for prayer and, and issues about the church. And the one night we were in the small sanctuary and we were in all different corners praying for the different needs of the church. And as I was praying, I wrapped up the different needs that I need to pray for. And then I just started thanking the Lord for things that he's done in my life. There's a lot of questions I have about the Bible and how it all works out. But I just started thanking the Lord for things that he's done in my life. That there is no question that he is alive and that he is there for each one of us. And so I was just thanking him for the things he's done in my life. And as I was doing that, he just spoke audibly to me and said, Randy, drop your nail bag. Well, I've been in construction for 17 years. And I said, Lord, what do you mean drop my nail bag? And then he showed me a vision. I was on a job site. I had my nail bag strapped to me. And he called me and I unhooked the nail bag. And as the nail bag fell, I walked directly away from the nail bag. And then the Lord said, Randy, if you do this, I will show you my power like it's not been seen. And I just started crying. I'm like, Lord, this is a lot. I've never had the Lord speak to me audibly like that before. Well, I started crying and 15 minutes into just crying out before the Lord. I said to my spirit, Lord, if this is you, you need to confirm it. As soon as I said confirm it, one of the other men came over and they laid their hands on my shoulder and said, Randy, the Lord told me to come and tell you, you're going to lose the desire to work 40, 50 hours a week. Well, I'm like, Lord, this is you. And at that time, I was a general contractor on a very large construction site. And so we sought counsel and we go to Petra Christian Fellowship and sought counsel with Lester and others and they all felt that it was a timing issue. And so now let's fast forward it to two years, to 2017. And as we prayed and fasted, the Lord brought this all together and made it very clear that Bonnie and I should go to Africa for a season, for three years, to work with Titus and Jemina. And the Lord used others to confirm it. People would come up to us and say, I don't know what's going on, but the Lord is going to be doing this and that. In fact, one of the brothers said that, he said, I see God creating a large platform that you'll be preaching on. Well, the thing that we're going to Kenya to do is we're going to be in charge of large crusade meetings. We have a tractor trailer that it has a stage. It turns into a stage and we do preaching from it. And this brother came up and said, you're going to be preaching before the multitudes. And so through that, we, we built a team at Petra. We are Petra uh, missionaries now, at Petra Christian Fellowship. And so all this is coming together and my wife and I are leaving in a few weeks to go over and begin the journey that God has called us on. We thank you for your prayers and financial support, and we're excited to continue to share with you what God will continue to do as he leads and guides us in every step of our way. God bless.